If somebody were to ask you, what's the most dangerous, available, and addicting drug on the planet, what would your answer be? Is it this right here? Is it Gogaine? Is it this right here? Marowin? Or is it this right here? Heth? Nope. Not even close. None of these. There's only one drug on the planet that's the most dangerous, expensive, available, and addicting. And it's literally all over the planet. And almost half of the world's population is hooked on it. What is this drug? Boom. Right here. Badge. A.K.A. Peace Sleeve. That's right. There's literally billions of people across the planet addicted to this stuff. It impairs our judgment. It makes us slaves. And we spend hundreds of billions of dollars a year on it. Maybe even trillions. And if you aren't careful with it, it can make you go broke. And you'll end up on the streets. Or even worse, in jail or in prison. This stuff, Peace Leave, can ruin a man's life in a heartbeat if he doesn't know how to control his habits. I mean, like... I see public service announcements all the time for fentanyl or cigarettes. I mean, they should seriously have commercial warnings about the dangers of pea sleeve. Like, remember that old school commercial, this is your brain and this is your brain on drugs? They should have one for pea sleeve. You know, some fat guy with an egg in his kitchen, this is your brain and this is your brain on the JJ, you know? So yeah, see all this science stuff right here? When you take a quote unquote real drug, all this stuff goes off in your brain. Your endorphins, your dopamine, all that crap. And when you're with a chick, well, pretty much the exact same thing happens. So yeah, I mean like this kind of explains why when you're talking or flirting with a chick or even in bed with one, why you get those goosebumps and you get that nice warm feeling in your stomach. I mean, the only way to explain the feeling is if you took like four Vicodins. So yeah, that's the drug feeling right there, my friend. I think pea sleeve's gotta be the worst come down in all the drugs combined. They should have pea sleeve rehabilitation centers, you know, a bunch of devastated divorce guys trying to get their feet back on the ground after pea sleeve wiped them out clean and ruined their life. I mean, they should have meetings at churches for this stuff. Instead of AA meetings, it should be Badgeaholics Anonymous. My name is Steve and I'm a badgeaholic, right? I knew this one fellow back in the day who was addicted big time to pea sleeve, like literally. If he didn't get sleeve in like two weeks, he would go crazy. Like he would get all aggravated and aggressive and be like literally a prick until he got his V fix. So yeah, true fact right there. V actually has withdrawal symptoms like any other drug out there would. I'm not making this up. Google it. A drug addiction can make you go literally crazy. And I've seen it before with my own eyes. I mean, like, remember this show right here? This show was and is the greatest show ever created. It was literally perfect. You know why the poor guy went through all of that crap? It was because of pea sleeve. That's right. He was addicted to it. And he was trying to leave behind to his hot, lazy housewife a little bit of cash before he passed away. And the last of the years he had left... He wanted her to stay around and not leave, so he had to leave a little cash. And this was the lengths he went through to keep her around. All the stressful stuff a human would endure to keep peace leave around for his last years. So like here's literally a step-by-step -step process of how peace leave can make a man go crazy. Let's say a dude was fed his whole life about how great peace leave was. It's hyped up in commercials, it's all over music videos, and it's all over the movies, you know? Get this product, and chicks will hook you up with some pea sleeve. I mean, that's like literally every single commercial for a product geared towards men ever. So he spends all this crazy money, nice house, nice car, expensive clothes, $100 cologne, and he finally scores in some sleeve, and he loves it. He had a taste of it, and he's in love. And he gets it for a solid year or two, every single night. Then all of a sudden, he realizes, uh-oh, this sleeve has a mind of its own. It starts to fight back, and it starts to take his life savings. It keeps him a slave by working a job that he dreads. And all of a sudden, without warning, it's cut out from his life and took him for everything that he owned. Boom. Gone. Just like that. And, uh, uh-oh, someone's feeling a withdrawal symptom here. 
someone's starting to realize their habits are starting to catch up with them. And just like that, the dude has a nervous breakdown. Next thing the sucker knows is he's waking up in a mental home. And he's got absolutely nothing. No family, no money, no career. And he has to start life all over again from square one. All because of this right here. The most dangerous drug on the planet. The almighty V. A.K.A. Peace Sleeve. <laughs>